Hi everyone, it's Monica. Welcome back to my Bible journaling channel. Today is Wildcard Wednesday, and for Wildcard Wednesdays lately, I've been going through and using the templates I've created in my Bible, and today I'm using the second Steadfast Love template in my Bible here to respond to Psalm 36. In verse 5, it says, Your steadfast love, O Lord, extends to the heavens, your faithfulness to the clouds. So there on the left, you can see this template that I created. It is still available over in my Facebook group in the files section. As long as you're a subscriber here on YouTube to this channel and a member of the Facebook group over there, you are most welcome to download this and use it in your own time with the Lord. So you can see I simply traced it into my Bible with pencil and now I've gone over the lettering with my Faber-Castell pit pen, which is permanent. And I used this permanent marker because I'm gonna be going in with some watercolor stuff later on. So really quickly, I am going in with some white acrylic paint and painting over the clouds. And the reason I'm doing that is that I am gonna be using Brusho in my Bible. And I've discovered that Brusho does like to bleed a little bit. But on this page here, I'm gonna be keeping it to the clouds only. And so I'm putting down a layer of white acrylic paint to prevent the brusho from bleeding through. And so you'll see me do that a little bit later on, but that's the reason that I went in with the paint there. I'm using these Derwent Inktense blocks that I just got, and these things look a lot like they could be watercolors, but they're actually India ink in sort of a watercolor form, which makes them super, super vibrant. And I've just been having a really good time experimenting with these. My birthday is in the month of November and we had some family members visit and people were very gracious to me for my birthday. And I was able to pick up some of these new things to try out in my Bible. And these so far in my experience have not bled through my Bible page. And so I'm really enjoying putting them to use during my time with the Lord. So you can see here, I used my Bible mat under this page and normally I would use printer paper. And that was a mistake on my part because on the back now, some did seep around the edges, nothing bled through, but it got around the edge. So, oh well, life goes on. So here's my brusho. This is in the color black, but when I use it, you will see that the color black is made up of many more colors than just black. So you sprinkle this on sort of like salt or pepper after you have applied water to the page. And there's actually a lot of different techniques for how you can use brusho, but that's how I'm using it on this page today. And then you can see as I blend it around, there's actually blue and orange and a whole bunch of different colors that make up this quote black color of brusho and it's just adding some kind of fun texture to my clouds making them look a little bit hazier a little bit smokier than just the plain white paint and i'm just putting water on sprinkling it on and then dabbing off the excess with a paper towel to kind of lighten up the color that's left behind so that gave a really fun effect, I think, to my clouds. And you can always go in with more water and blot more off to really get the look that you're after. And again, because I put the white acrylic paint down underneath it, I shouldn't have any problems with little specks of bleed through on the back of this page. I'm now going in with my Uniball white gel pen and going over the lettering that I had traced onto the page. And you've seen me do this technique before. I'm just careful to always use a permanent fine point pen to do the lettering initially. Then I like to watercolor over the top of it. And then often I go over with a different color of pen or paint to actually finalize the letters here. This verse is just awesome. It very much reminds me of the song that talks about your love, O Lord, reaches to the heavens, your faithfulness stretches to the skies. And I just think it's such a good thing to remind ourselves about. 
And you know if you watched my video last week where I tackled the first Steadfast Love template, I did talk a little bit about this, about this is a hard thing for me to grasp a hold of, is God's unconditional steadfast love and how it's not something I earn, it's just something I can hold on to because it's true and it never fails. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, that it's been an encouragement to you. Go ahead and make time today to get into the Word of God for yourself. It is amazing. Be sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and I'm here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday sharing process videos with you. God bless you, and have a wonderful day.